Later, Graham Norton on why dressing up in drag for his West End debut absolutely terrified him. Dr Chris Steele and Chef Angela Hartnett team up for a special this morning allergy clinic. And as Scientology once again hits the media spotlight, we find out more about the faith which has many celebrity followers, including Tom Cruise, John Travolta and Kirstie Alley. 10.30. Hello there, welcome back in just a moment, hitting the dating scene for the first time in 10 years. What happened when we sent single mum Alison speed dating? Oh, it's a whole new world out there. First though, how one family beat the agony of severe eczema. Now this is seven-year-old Megan, who is very pretty and lovely, looking very well this morning. But until very recently, Megan's eczema left her skin red raw, a condition which has affected her ever since then when she was a wee baby. You can see it on her wee face. But this all changed after her mum Amanda read about a food intolerance test. Megan and Amanda are here now with our Dr Hilary. So pretty miserable for the first seven years, yeah? Seven, yeah. Seven and pretty and miserable. Years. So um, from a baby obviously yes, you had the eczema so. which is which is a horrible thing and it covered all of her? Well I mean it was um, after she was six weeks old I stopped breastfeeding her because she didn't seem to be settling through her feet, you know, between her feeds. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and when I stopped breastfeeding I'd put her onto a formula and she'd just come out in eczema everywhere but oh. obviously you know it's worse on the patches of her arms sure. here behind her legs but mm. she did get it you know pretty much everywhere at mm. times. Very, very, very itchy and her face was you know that photo there what you just mm. saw was crusty and oh, red thing. and then the, you know it was That'd be horrible. horrible. It must have been rotten going to school and everything like that you're always really itchy. Yeah. You want to scratch yourself all the time which is horrid. You used to be wrapped up like a little mummy you, yes. you to, what would you do just put tons well, of Well I mean these are the, the, the bandages but that we didn't wrap them we didn't use these what we mm. had from the doctors was um, like a, a, a suit so it'd be oh, a top okay. suit and okay. um, you know long sleeves and right. then a, was that at night time or and then leggings um, night time like sometimes it. in the daytime depending on how bad she was you right. know but, so um, would it flare up sometimes it would get worse at times but it was always there sure um, but um, you know she had to be covered in cream about ten times a day the steroid creams used to take it down yeah but um, it never you know would never go. Yeah, it was just always there all it the was time. Always there, and it would yeah. be stopping you from doing things, wouldn't it? Stop you yeah. from going out to play and going for a swim with your pals and all that sort of stuff. It's very right. difficult. So you saw this <coughs> thing about food intolerance. Yeah. And what does it involve? Just a, is it a blood test and then they analyse yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a, a lancet um, right. pinprick in your finger and you send off, you just squeeze some blood, right. which you didn't like, did you? And uh, we sent it off and it came back. I'd already eliminated a lot of foods that mm. I knew she was intolerant to or right. knew caused the eczema, okay. the eczema in a worse state. But it was just, it came back that she was intolerant to just about three or four more foods and um, mm. soya was one of the worst and that's what the the right. um, doctors put her on from a baby. So you cut all these things out and you And within two days, in she two was days. two days. Her skin was absolutely it was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, no creams, gorgeous. no nothing. God, life must have changed dramatically for you. I mean, she can you wear shorts. Have, she can wear t-shirts. She can wear a bikini now. Yeah. She can actually have sun cream. She's never been able to have sun cream on. Right, because that would really irritate yeah. as well. So, Hilary, what, what's the, I know I know that people are a bit sort of not too sure about the, the whole sort of food intolerance test because it's a it's a private thing you have yeah, to pay so for it. Um, I mean, that's quite that, that is that is a lot of money. But in this case, it seems to have it seems to have worked. Yeah, yeah I mean, clearly uh, you reintroduce the foods, you get the flare up, uh, and, and the connection between the yep. the food substances and the condition is um, irrefutable, really. Um, yes, food intolerance is is um, controversial in the medical world. Food allergy isn't. Uh, yeah. When you have a, a sort of allergy to nuts, sure. the reaction is instantaneous. You get swelling, you get anaphylactic shock, mm. and the very serious reactions, the, the, yeah. the connection is clear. But with intolerance, it's far more uh, uh, nebulous. It's, it's much more difficult to say, well, what food is causing it? Because the reaction will be several days later. Sure. And eczema is one of those um, uh, results of food intolerance that is very real along with sort of migraines and bloating mm. and joint pains and muscle aches that some people get. <laughs> so with food allergy you can test it very clearly with, with a blood test right. uh, called a RAS test. Uh, with food intolerance up to now there hasn't been any clear <coughs> scientific guidelines which have been universally accepted but um, there, there are IgG um, uh, immune tests which can be done which are scientifically reproducible and reliable which, uh, which can help 
probably 40% of the population who have unexplained symptoms uh, which may be related to an intolerance to food and this is National Food Intolerance Week and I think it's quite good to, to hear that there are tests available not however on the NHS regrettably yeah, yet and, and there's a real paucity of clinics mm. in the, on the NHS for, for the treatment of allergies but help is out there and you can get tested. Fantastic. Well, it's great to see you looking so well. Yeah. You must be really pleased. It must be great now. Yeah. Much, much fantastic. better. Eh? Yeah. Not having to and scratch. also all her allergies. You know, she had an anaphylactic shock when she was about 11 months old. Yeah. Um, and she was physically sick. She was like a beetroot. I put her in a warm bath. You've been through it, haven't you? And, um, you know, all her allergies. Even sitting on a horse a couple of years ago in the summer, she had to get, we had to get an ambulance. Her breathing was distressed and she came out in hives. All that seems to be, Good. I'm just wondering exactly. if now it's uh, going to be yeah, okay, yeah, but you exactly, never know. Exactly. Well, thank you. Great to see thank you. you. Yeah. Glad it worked out for you. Lovely girl. Thank you very nice much indeed. You. Thank you very and, much. And uh, we'll stick all that information on the website and Dr Hilary's got lots of advice on eczema as well. Now, looking for love in 2009 can be difficult. We are catching up with single mum Alison, who we've been following on the show all month.